is uh, Christian again from the CHI. Uh, with me today I have Theo van Loven, who was just recently appointed uh, full professor at the Institute of Language and Communication. And uh, Theo was present at the uh, KIAS Autumn Seminar last week, and he has agreed to uh, you know, tell me a little bit about his impressions of the whole thing. And so, Theo, over to you. Okay. So, I'm just going to uh, focus on you, hopefully. There you go. So, yeah, Theo. Focus, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, you know, it was actually very fortunate that um, uh, this conference was on, or this symposium was on, just uh, three weeks in from, uh, or three or four weeks in from uh, me joining this um, university, yeah. because in those few weeks I had already come to realize that CHI um, had a lot of, there's a lot of common ground uh, between the interests of CHI and, um, and uh, interest, uh, my own interest in multimodality. That yeah, I yeah. Want to pursue. Oh, right, so, I forgot um, to say that, didn't I? Um, so, yeah, that was very fortunate that that symposium was on, and um, I was very pleased to, to join it. And when I, yeah, and um, I think one of the key things that I find particularly interesting, as I have so far understood it, yeah. Uh, about the work of CHI that I saw also in several papers there um, is this sort of interest in, um, let's say, in situated sign making yeah. rather than in um, the use of sign systems. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think that is a, that is increasingly a very very important, um, you know, um, correction on yeah. uh, former uh, approaches in multimodality. That uh, yeah, which and, is and uh, another reason why we should work together and talk together. Yeah. So I haven't I haven't been able to uh, to go to all the papers, but uh, what 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 I saw uh, certainly um, certainly made me think. Yeah. And um, as far as the central concern of this symposium is what was called the value realizing theory, I actually was not aware of that. But um, I do think that um, you know in a time um, where discourse analysis, where one key concern of discourse yeah. analysis has become evaluation. For yeah. example, in things as like the so-called appraisal theory, yeah. you know, it is really, really important to focus on values, what the criteria for values, on what values are as yeah. values, you know. Yeah. And you can't, um, you can't, um, you know, avoid the ethical questions. Yeah. And some of the good speakers there actually didn't avoid that and brought that into a way that was extremely interesting. Yeah. And you know, it is hard; it's difficult to do. Yeah. There are pitfalls. You could get yeah. yourself in a sort of sociobiological cul-de-sac uh, yeah. that you then can't get out of, you yeah. reason yourself out of, but it is really worthwhile doing and I was very impressed with the way that was done in this uh, symposium. It is like there is sometimes a, yeah. an elephant in the room, isn't there? Yeah. And, and I thought that many of the speakers there actually sort of took a long hard look at the elephant yeah. and, and yeah. acknowledged its presence. Yeah. That's right. And uh, You've got to be careful, you know, there was one speaker who just said, I won't deal with the ethical question, I thought, well, hey, if you talk about values in terms of human communication, yeah. you know, um, as soon as you're actually going to look at examples, you will hopefully realize that it's yeah. not going to be so easy. Yeah. And that we cannot really, you know, that, uh, that yes, you know, of course we must uh, always incorporate in our understanding of human communication, you know, our, uh, our full biological nature yeah, you know, and, yeah. and the commonalities we have yeah. with animals, but don't go too far and that we're not ants and never will be. Right, okay, so uh, on that <laughs> note, I think we shall uh, call it a day. Uh, we will tell, have words on the are we ants question or not, sure but at will. a later time. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Theo. Have a nice day. Okay.